In South Korea's defense ministry says an examination of the debris of the DPRK's rocket launched earlier this month shows the country looks to have developed the technology needed to deliver a warhead with a range of more than 10,000 kilometers. This may put the U.S. west coast under the DPRK's missile threat. The South Korean ministry says studies of the DPRK rocket's oxidizer tank which was retrieved from the LOC last week, suggests the launch was aimed more at testing missile technology. As a result of analyzing the material of the DPRK's Wunha-3 rocket, we judge the country has secured a range of more than 10,000 kilometers with a warhead of 500 to 600 kilograms. The official also says the rocket used red fuming nitric acid, which most other countries don't use as an oxidizing agent. Red fuming nitric acid, which can be stored for a long time at a normal temperature, is often used by some countries such as the DPRK and Iran to make missiles. He also says they found the DPRK has used its existing missile technology to develop the rocket, which successfully separated at each stage. South Korea has now recovered all the separate parts of the rocket apart from its engines. The DPRK says it successfully launched the rocket to put a satellite into orbit on December the 12th. Keith Crane, CCTV.